Good morning, everyone. Well, I just wanted to bring you guys along today. I am actually in my chicken coop with my little baby chicks today. They're getting so big. And um, I'm also, I brought you guys along just to kind of check the status on how they're doing. And they're all doing really well. Um, they really like to have some fresh salad from our garden. And um, they just they just love that. Even the, the hens love it too. They just peck and it gives them something to do. When it, it starts to get warm like this, I used to like um, to come out and bring them something nice and cool. Usually like a, if we have watermelon, uh, we'll bring them like the leftover watermelon and I should cool them off in you know, late summer. We, we do melons as well. They like melon. Uh, what else do we give them? We give them a lot of our scraps too, and a lot of it that they don't need just goes into our compost bin. So yeah, I just love being out here with the girls. They're, they're just, um, there's just something about owning chickens. I've, I've been a chicken uh, farmer <laughs> for, um, I want to say maybe going on three years now, but ever since I was a little girl, we've always had chickens growing up. So um, they say if you grew up owning chickens um, and you're, you know, one of your family members has chickens and, you know, maybe somebody in the family eventually, you know, either your child or somebody uh, might become a chicken farmer too when they get older because just, just the joy of owning chickens is such a rewarding um, hobby. Do you want to film today, Queenie? Are you helping me film? Yes. So today I just came out and did my regular chores, fed the chickens, fed the chicks, gave them some clean water, gave my lovers uh, fresh water and food, and my finches and parakeets watered some parts in the garden that weren't getting enough water, checked on the peas, covered them because it's going to be, <laughs> I think it's going to get to the hundreds today. So um, I want to make sure that my pea harvest is still consistent and producing really well. So I'm going to try and cover it and make sure that um, it's going to get enough shade for today. Your tooth. Oh. <laughs> Who's eating their peas from the garden? Hi. Hi. So it's always just a joy um, of coming out here and spending, you know, at least 15 minutes um, if I can with my chickens and uh, just, you know, petting them and making sure that they're healthy. Um, they make sure that they come and they greet me every morning. Oh, I know, I know. 
Queenie, settle down. It's okay. <laughs> Queenie startled yeah. them. I know. You can startle them. <sighs> but yeah, I just come in here. Queenie, you got to be a good girl. She doesn't hurt them. She just likes to hurt them. Um, she thinks that they're cattle. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I have so much stuff going on right now. Um, in my garden, I have tons of roses just blooming. Um, and I have tons of citrus. Uh, just, you know, my trees are just full of like little buds. So, um, one of the things I wanted to touch on today was I am going to um, start a new project uh, in a couple of a couple of weeks uh, or sooner. Um, I know that I posted a, a small clip of our um, our, our new beehive. We, uh, me and my husband, uh, were beekeeping um, a year ago, and unfortunately, we had to move, and we weren't able to keep our bees. So we left them with our previous um, owner who purchased their home. So uh, we just thought it would be better for them to stay in their own environment instead of having to relocate them. Usually they don't try, they don't do so good when you have to move their environment. So uh, we are thinking of taking up that hobby again. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated and, and posted on how that goes. So I'm thinking of keeping our beehive uh, somewhere along the corner back here of my chicken area uh, and then I'm going to fence it around so the chickens or any, no one can get to it. I have a little border fence that I, um, that I got and I'm going to hang some sugar water on the citrus tree so they can have access to um, instant food just to kind of get them going because it's a new environment. I don't, you know, they're gonna be in shock when they get here. Uh, but I'll bring you guys along and I'll keep you guys posted definitely on the progress of our new bee, uh, beekeeping hobby, uh, our continuation because, you know, I really do miss um, beekeeping. I, it was such a short uh, hobby that we just took up. Uh, we did so much research on it and then my husband was really excited and then we had to move and then we're like oh man we, we know what we'll just start up sometime again uh we didn't harvest any honey yet we didn't quite get to that point um because we were so new in the um in the bee season season and we didn't uh get any honey yet so um so yeah i'll definitely keep, keep you guys posted on that adventure um i know my boys are gonna be excited to come in here and um, suit up and have their little bee kits and everything like that to get some honey. But I will definitely keep you guys posted. And um, I'm hoping I hope you guys enjoyed this video today of my chickens. Um, and uh, if you guys have any chickens or considering on getting chickens, they're such a joy to have. They just add so much happiness and um, just. Uh, just a contentment in your life so um uh you know i i love coming out here my my um my son's like coming up out here and getting the eggs every morning uh, i mean they're such a rewarding animal to have um, as a pet uh in your home uh, they give so much back to um to your home as well as not just having them in their company um, and the joy of owning chickens. Uh, they provide you with food. Uh, their eggs are so delicious and um, the yolks are so yellow and it's like a custard yellow. Uh, many people think that you put like, um, like you feed your chicken some anise or, or some kind of like, um, like a flour or nasturtiums or something like or marigolds that uh, make the yolk more of a like a golden color um i usually feed them marigolds when i have some in my garden and they some people say that they kind of add like a different color um in the egg yolk but my chickens like pretty good deep um golden yolks so um i must be doing something good so um, their nutrition is basically consistent of, right now in the summer months, I switch their feed to uh, more of a lighter feed. I try, try to like give them some chicken uh, scratch 
so they can scratch around and I tried to replenish like 50% uh, of their food from like greens, fruits, fresh things in the house because we do live in the south, um, southwest so we don't really um, we don't really have cool weather for them and I don't like them to stress out because their egg production does go down um, in the summertime, it decreases a lot. So I try to make them happy and content when they're not laying because they do go into a period where they just don't lay. Um, but I don't mind because we enjoy them for our company, for their company that they provide and just like I said, the joy of owning chickens. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, you guys. Remember, uh, if you're liking these videos um, and you want to subscribe to my channel, um, subscribe. I'd be more than happy to have you guys subscribe to, sub subscribe to my channel. And remember, give me a thumbs up if you're liking the content. And until next time, you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>